For the last decade, I've been working to reinvent something that's been around since the mid 1800s, the hypodermic needle. So why reinvent something that already works? 16 billion needles per year are used to treat patients, cure disease, to save millions of lives. But needles can be dangerous. Globally, 1.3 million people die every year from unsafe injections. And an estimated 50 million people with diabetes worldwide could benefit from injectable insulin. Plus, admit it, needles can be intimidating. So, we need a reinvention. In the 1970s, inventors Martin Gerstel and Virgil Place created a new patent for a drug delivery device to replace the hypodermic needle. They suggested a device with needles so tiny that you can't even feel them. Just apply it to the skin like a sticker and you're done. But no technology existed then to shrink down the needles in a practical way. At the same time, other engineers were working on an unrelated problem, packing transistors on microchips for ever smaller and faster computers. By 1990, engineers could routinely make structures less than one micron in size. That's when my team got involved and started making microneedle patches. We've made them out of silicon, like computer chips, and then metal and plastic, and even things that can dissolve in the skin, like sugar. We want microneedle patches that make it easier for people to get the medicine they need. Vaccines are important, so we're developing patches to prevent flu, polio, measles, and other diseases. We are designing them so that the medicines don't have to be refrigerated and that the package size is small, much easier to store and distribute. These microneedle patches are easy to use. There's no prep work, no training, no pain, and no dangerous needles to dispose of. Engineering technology developed for one purpose in microelectronics has been repurposed to enable us to re-engineer the needle. It's a beautiful example of the power of engineering to improve your health, your family's health, and the health of people around the world.